Welcome to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be comparing some microphones. Now before we get stuck into it, I'd just like to remind you that if you want your product reviewed by me on this channel right here, just contact me on my email address listed below. In today's video, we'll be having a look at my Sony Alpha 6400 vlogging setup. Now I've got a few choices of microphones. Here's my setup there and it is quite large and bulky. We're using the Rode Video Micro microphone on top, which is the microphone I've been using for quite some time on pretty much all of my videos. But as you can see there, it makes for quite a large setup and it can be quite intimidating when filming out in public. It seems to draw a lot of attention with the big dead cat on top. The camera is much nicer without the large microphone on top, as you can see here. And it's got the flip up screen flipped up for vlogging purposes. And the other problem I find with this microphone is that if I turn the camera around like this to film something, the microphone does not really pick up the sound too well because it's directional. So it works well if it's facing me, but it doesn't work too well if I'm filming something with my camera and commentating it does not really pick up the sound that well and I find that quite annoying when out and about at times and sometimes it gets to the point where you have to take the microphone off and spin it around so we'll be doing tests on all this sort of stuff now I've also got the Ceramonic microphone which is a lot smaller and also a lot cheaper and that simply plugs in the side there okay it makes for much less intimidating look on the camera it's much more compact and portable and what I love about this I can have this camera facing me or I can film something else commentating behind the camera and this microphone will pick up the sound there's disadvantages and advantages to that scenario obviously like everything else in life so I could be vlogging talking to the camera and this microphone here will pick up any noise that's behind us. We're going to go outside and we're going to test out the different microphones just so you can see which one you would personally prefer. And the reason I'm actually making this video is because I was actually going to test these microphones out for myself because I much prefer this setup to having this thing up there. I'll still be using this microphone when I'm filming in the studio like I'm doing now, but I think when I'm out and about, I'm going to go to this little guy here and I will also be recording some video without any microphone at all just to give you an idea what this little microphone actually does and how well it works. So this video here that I'm filming now, I'm filming with a Sony XV1 camera that I've got on loan currently. And I'm filming that without an external microphone. So the Sony XV1 that's sitting over there on a the tripod looking at me right now is as it came out of the box. So it'll be interesting how good the audio of that camera is. And I will also be doing a video on the Sony XV1 camera very shortly before I return it to its rightful owner. But look, let's go outside and try out the different scenarios. Here we are outside and I'm using the Sony Alpha 6400 camera with the built-in microphone. And it is a little bit windy outside today. Not excessively windy, but there's some wind and it will be interesting to see or hear if you can hear the wind noise within the camera. You can see the flag there, you can see the wind and I'm now behind the camera filming and commentating from behind the camera with no microphone. I have now changed over to the small ceremonic microphone so it'll be interesting to see what the sound is like with the small little $30 microphone. I'm now talking from behind the camera and it is still a little bit windy as you can see the flag there it's not excessively windy and this is the ceremonic microphone talking from behind the camera. And here we are using the Rode Video Micro microphone. This is the biggest microphone of the lot and it's really the one that I don't want to be using when I'm out in public or out and about only because it's a real pain and it does look quite intimidating. 
Now I'm talking from behind the microphone. There's still some wind, as you can see. The flag is still going. And there's the horse. And this is me talking behind the camera with the Rode Video Micro microphone. So it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Now you've just had a chance to listen to all the audio samples. We sampled the audio of just the camera and we sampled the audio of the camera with the ceremonic microphone and we sampled the audio of the camera using the Rode microphone. Now look, facing the camera there's no doubt in my mind that this is the best audio setup and this is the audio setup that I will continue to use when I film most of my studio videos like what I'm filming now. However, since life is a compromise, this setup here is probably what I'll be using when I'm out and about in the street, vlogging and travelling and filming videos while I'm out and about. It's just so much more compact, convenient and it does not stand out in public and does not draw too much attention. And if I just want to use the camera as a camera, it's as easy as that to take the microphone out, fold the screen in and just have a normal camera. What I like about this setup is that I can be facing the camera or I can face the camera away from myself and show you guys something and talk about it and I don't have to worry about the microphone. It still picks up the sound. It does pick up a little bit of noise around the place and it's not as good an audio quality as what the Rode microphone is. Like I said, life's a compromise and look, this setup, I quite like it. I find it quite convenient to use and this is probably what I'll be using 90% of the time when I'm travelling. Whereas this is the microphone I'll be using if I'm filming studio videos at home, how-to videos, unboxings and all the stuff I generally film at home. So do me a favour, leave a comment down below and let me know which microphone you thought sounded the best and which microphone you think is the best compromise for being out and about vlogging and filming content for YouTube. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful at all, do me a favour, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.